The seminar started with Father Michel telling about his background and how he served in different parts of the world to promote dialogue. When he was asked about how he was introduced to Turkish culture and the Fethullah Gulen movement, he spoke about how he studied in Turkey. Teaching in Turkey in 1986, we had, we had a, a, an academic agreement between the Gregorian University in Rome and Ankara University in Ankara. And some of my students were involved in the Jamaat Nur, and so what I basically tried to do was was just go through the history of the Gulen movement and try to explain the vision of uh, of Mr. Gulen, and it's a vision of the. It says that the real enemies of of humankind in in the 21st century are are ignorance, and so uh, they have these really good schools in different countries. The second enemy of humankind is, is poverty, so they have many development programs and charitable activities. And, and the third is disunity, and that's why they've set up in so many different places these dialogue institutes. Father Michel also spoke about how he came across the Gulen Movement schools while serving in Indonesia in Zamboanga. He indicated that the region is not safe, but when he came across the Filipino Turkish School of Tolerance, he was surprised to see such an organization in a place where tolerance is not very common. The Reverend said in this particular school, 50% of the students are Muslim, 50% are Christian, and teachers are also from diversified backgrounds. With some questions from the audience, he tried to explain how the Gulen Movement schools work around the world. He mentioned the school in northern Iraq, where most of the clashes take place nowadays. At the end of the conference, various questions from dialogue in Christianity to Abrahamic religions were answered by Father Michel. Marywood College President Sister Anne Munley also delivered a short speech in the event. <laughs> so what struck me tonight that um, was very powerful is that I could see in your reflection on the Gulen movement uh, so many parallels to the emergence of the 19th century apostolic religious congregations of women. Closing are remarks were made by Golden Retreat Center President Bekir so Aksoy. These other cultures, Muslims, if they would like to be successful in this country, have to practice their own culture.